may look all sweet and innocent now, but if you're a cat owner, you know the truth. These little guys can be incredibly destructive to your furniture. They scratch your sofa, they run up your curtains, they can do all kinds of damage. So what I want to do is come up with some ideas to cat-proof your lounge so they and you can both live in perfect harmony. My first idea will help to protect the corners of the sofa because they're the spots that the cats tend to always want to scratch, aren't they? So what I'm doing is I'm making a very simple frame, kind of like a fashionable cat scratching post. You'll need to start with some timber. I've just cut a checkout out of one piece and a curve that will fit around the base of my sofa. To give your feline friend something to really sink its claws into, you'll need some sturdy rope. This type of rope tends to want to fray at the ends. What that means is basically it's going to start splaying open and looking quite messy. So to hold everything together while you work, just use some tape. That keeps all of those little strands together. And then you can use one of these button head screws to start it. The thing to remember with this is you actually need to hold it quite firmly while you wrap it around. Just work your way evenly all the way down to the base. Now, if you do happen to run out of rope halfway through, just tape it up again and screw it off the same way we did at the beginning. So now we've got two neat pieces and you can see how they lock together and that's because of that checkout that we did with the saw. So the next step is to take a drill and pre-drill a hole on either side. That will stop the timber from splitting when you screw the two pieces together. You can see that it will hold itself upright fairly well and this is the part that just wraps around the corner of your sofa arm but if your cat tends to get a bit excited and he starts to claw and pulls it forward there is a way to counteract that and that's this extra block that we cut earlier. So that will slide in at the bottom and again you can pre-drill and screw that from the back. You can see this little checkout. Well, it actually fits tightly around the leg of your chair, so you can shape it accordingly. And the blonde timber, well, I chose this deliberately, so it ties in with the coffee table, so it makes a real accent in the room. And much better for the cat to scratch this, you have to say, than the arm of your chair. Pet furniture is not always the most attractive, so if you're pretty confident with a drill, you can easily make your own. So this piece of furniture will actually be a cat scratching post, a cat bed and a side table in one. Great little weekend project. Honestly, if you can use a drill, you can build a piece like this and it's a nice little side table for the lounge room, so you can actually build good looking furniture that serves double duty. So this is the shelf, it'll go in, that's where the cat little bed will be. So we've got the top, the back and the bed, then all we need to put on is the other side, which is the scratching post. That's the building part done, so now I'll just clean up these edges and just take care of any squeezes with sandpaper. This is the stage where you can really personalise this little piece of furniture. You could paint it in a solid colour or you could stain it like I'm doing here. The benefit of this stain is it actually has a varnish in it as well, so it's kind of two steps in one. You can see the side table. Well, it definitely has a deliberate lean on one side. That's intentional. This is where it goes up against the sofa, so it's nice and straight. And this has the lean, so it's the scratching post. And for the texture that we need to get on there to encourage the cat to scratch this and not your sofa, you can choose from a whole range of different carpet tiles. You can buy them individually. It really just comes down to what your cat would prefer. Gosh, that's going to be perfect for the cat to scratch its little claws on the side. Now for inside, a bit of comfort. Doesn't that look inviting? And then for on top, well, perfect spot for you to put your cuppa and a book. So I guess this just goes to prove you don't have to sacrifice style for the love of your pet. The sofa arms are safe and everybody's happy, right Bruce?